carnival started to wind down, it was time to head off and explore some more sites of Brazil. I was headed off to Foz de Iguaçu. I feel like I just arrived in Sao Paulo. Oh wait, I just did. Anyway, I'm leaving. It's been about two days and this is why people can't travel with me because I can't stay put in one place for too long. Anyway, on to our next destination. in from the airport and came straight from the airport to Falls de Guasu National Park. I think it's National Park. Yeah, National Park. It was like a 15 minute, not even 15 minutes, I would say like five minute Uber drive. If you're like me and coming straight from the airport, there are lockers here that you can store your baggage into. Oh, lockers. Buy your token at the ticket office. Perfect. buy your ticket you have to buy your token as well for the locker and I guess you just dump everything that you need in there you'll get your key and then you're good to go. Very important to note that when you insert your little token into the locker make sure that you pull out the key after you close the door and don't turn it again because I heard somebody end up turning his key and then turning it again and then locking it so that he now has to get another token so don't do that. Get dropped off by the bus it's like right in front of the hotel the announcements they make it's all in brazilian and english i think maybe they do it in spanish i'm not 100 sure now we're just walking down making our way to the falls going through the trails about like one and a half kilometers i think as you're walking through the trail you get closer and closer to the falls luckily it's not as busy as i was expecting i'm assuming that most of the people will be down closer to the end of this trail because it's spraying quite a bit. There's like a whole bunch of people here waiting to take a photo. So I'm gonna hang out for a while, maybe like about three hours, and then I'll just like wait for the people to leave and then take some more photos. So at the end of the trail, they've got like the gift shop, they've got the restaurant, and they've got some fast, like fast food court. You've got different options here. There's like two main cafeteria restaurants and then one store that has like sandwiches and stuff. And then you've got the main restaurant. So the restaurant is about $68 per person. The fast food restaurants are about like 30 to 40 reyes. I'm like contemplating, do I want to spend 68 reyes on buffet? If it's like 20 reyes more, then maybe it's a bit healthier. I'm gonna take a look and see what they have. just finished and the food was okay it's what you would get from a typical buffet restaurant but I don't know if I would eat there again if I was to do it again I would probably just eat one of the snack restaurants around here unless you were like really really hungry then yes definitely you should go and eat you'll get your money for it essentially after enjoying the view from above and taking a few selfies that turned out to be videos I made my way back down to the trail there isn't really that many people compared to when I was here probably around 12.30. Even in the afternoon when everybody is, or actually most people are gone, it's still pretty packed here. As long as you wait and you're nice and you're patient with everybody, you'll be able to get your photo in there. Oh, hi there, little fella. What do you eat? Oh, it just ate a little leather. That was kind of gross. I'm just walking around Foz de Guasu in their centro. Everything is closed, and I wonder if there's a reason why things close early here. guys this morning I am here in Argentina visiting the other side of the falls they hired a driver to take me over the border there's a few trails out here compared to the one on the Brazilian side so let's take a look and see 
the train ride is about like 20 minutes, 20 minutes to half an hour. We're actually the first train to get in. There's a bit of a walk. Everybody's like speed walking for the most part, wanting to get there first. I kind of just dashed for it. I got out and let a few people lead the way because they know where to go and I don't and I tend to get lost. I'm like literally power walking right now trying to create a distance from everybody else so that I can get there <laughs> before anybody else. <laughs> Really impressive. Just the sheer noise and the volume of water flowing through this place, amazing. A much better view here from the Argentinian side with regards to the actual mouth of the waterfall. Brazil side, much better when it comes to like a panoramic view of the entire fall. I'm glad I came out here ahead of the crowd. And so as you can see, the crowds are all out coming. So I think the big thing here is come like super early because otherwise you're gonna end up with like a huge crowd. I'm kind of glad that I hopped off the train and just dashed for it. As you guys are like seeing all around, there's like a whole bunch of people already here. Whereas like a few minutes ago, maybe like not even five, ten minutes ago, it was like completely empty. So let's head on out. Let's go to our next trail before the crowds start making their way there. Earlier this morning and all the trains that have been coming in were super packed. But here I am, headed off to the next one because I got my photos, I got my fix. Keep on going. One of the things with this site, it kind of reminds me of like Land Four Times with like all the dinosaurs and it's so pretty over here. Like it's just one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. Walking through the park gets kind of hot. I've already taken off a shirt and I'm still sweating hard. But then at the same time, I am power walking. As you guys know, I walk quite fast. Dress in layers because it will get hot and then you'll want to start taking things off. We're on the inferior trail. I think that's how you, how you say it. I'm not quite sure. But I got into my weird head and obsessing about doing all four all four trails in the eight hours that I have here at the park. So I am on my third trail. The last one apparently is the longest, so let's see how quickly I can plow through these. All right, it's getting really, really hot. Pants are off. I am now on, what's it called? Seduro Makaku. This is fourth trail and last one that I'm gonna do for the day. From what I hear, a bit of a long trek. Shouldn't be too many people oh, yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't be too many people on the trail from what I understand. Look at how big this ant is. That's like my pinky. Right there. And they're both like the same size almost. almost. <laughs> I was going to go and eat at the buffet so that I can compare it between the one from the Brazil side and now the Argentina side but then when I looked at the food I was like not really all that interested in it. I might as well kill some time because my driver doesn't come back. Natasha doesn't come back until probably around 4 o'clock so I've got about 2 hours or so or an hour and a half to kill time. I just went and got some burgers. It's burger completo which means that it has like complete so it's got ham and cheese so I'm gonna eat that, kill some time, and then head back to the entrance and meet up with Natasha. I've been saying that I'm gonna head down to the Amazon and I've been making my way down south. Well, it turns out I'm in the south and the Amazon is up in the north. So now I get to backtrack and make my way up there. And with that in mind, it was time to make my way up to the next destination, Manaus. So I'm here in Manaus, just headed off to an ayahuasca experience.